Hi, this is CLE Live. I'm Lexi Denton, and this is my co-host, Riley Easton. Welcome to the show. Today is February 29th. Leap day. Um, we're doing a show on... Stop it. So... Stop it. It's going way too far. How freshmen like high school, the 8th grade graduation, a teacher feature on Miss Steel, middle school memories, the winter ball, and science, vac science volcanoes, <laughs> and opinions on Miss Baker. Well then, let's take a look at the winter ball so everyone can see how much fun we had. I knew that we hadn't been allowed to have one in a few years, so I didn't know how the school board or even the administration would react. Of course, my thing was, oh, it's going to be a whole lot of work. But thanks to Miss Steele, uh, she talked me into it, said that it would be a good thing, and I will have to agree, she was very, very right on target with it. It was a big, big success. We asked the kids what colors they would like to do. Um, we went off of that. We had a lot of help from parents. Uh, we had a lot of help from um, different teachers that had things from other uh, events and organizations that we got to use. Well, our dress was pink and black. It was a short one, and I got it from Best for Less, and it was like about $80, $90, and it took Callie to do my hair three and a half hours. Um, I got my dress um, online from prom.com. It was pink and zebra shot, and it was $100. And took my hair about an hour and a half and modded it. My dress was peach. It was my sister's dress and she got it in Fort Smith. Um, my hair and makeup, it took about two hours. Well, I got my dress from my cousin Brianna who has a lot of really pretty dresses. So I decided to see what she had and she had this really pretty brown and a long dress and it was sparkly and stuff, which is my kind of dress. So that's where I got my dress and it really didn't take me too long to do my hair. I just put a few curls in it, put a little makeup on and was ready to go. Okay, I got my dress from Dillard's. It was pink at the bottom and like a black sparkly at the top and strapless and it was really pretty and my hair my stepmom did it and it took like an hour and a half and then my makeup Jennifer my mom and my stepmom did it and it took like 10 minutes and then I went to the ball Woo I got my dress for my cousin because she won crowning at Heaven so I thought it looked really pretty so I got it um, not very long, as much as it took me to do my hair. It took like two hours and three minutes to do my hair. My dress was pink and white. I had white stripes and it was like a hot pinkish. And the straps were had, had diamonds on them, so it looked really pretty. It really was a lot of fun. But let's take a look at what some other favorite memories in middle school are. Mine would probably have to be the winter ball. It was lots of fun and we all had a great time dancing and there's just a lot of things to eat. It would have to be basketball because I just love being out there with my team and just doing the sport out When I first figured out Miss Baker was my teacher, she's cool because she's nice. I would have to say probably basketball because I've never really actually played it before and it's actually fun after I got to learn. My favorite memory in middle school is the winter ball. Why it was the winter ball is because, well, we all got to go out there, well, most of us got to go out there, we got to dance for a couple hours, and get to have fun with everyone, and I got to dance with my girlfriend, and we, it was just really fun all together, so. My favorite memory in middle school is basketball season. I love basketball season because, like, whenever you're going on an away game, you can talk and listen to music with your friends, and I just love the game of basketball, and it's really fun, and I just get to, like, play with my friends. Well, just hanging out with my friends, going and play ball and all this stuff, and listening to music and hanging out, so, yeah. 
So, Riley, are you ready for graduation? I'm okay with it, actually. I'm going to miss middle school a lot, though. Let's see what everyone else thinks. Yes, I'm very excited to see all the 8th graders walk across the stage in their cap and gown. Yes, I can't think of anybody right now that's staying back in the 8th grade. Um, when graduation rolls around in May, the 8th graders that will graduate will go to the graduation ceremony and get in their cap and gown and go across the stage and all that good stuff. And um, the people who don't graduate just won't go and they'll have to repeat the 8th grade again. Yes, I'm very excited about graduating because I get to play high school at school. Uh, I'll get my diploma, hopefully, and my friends will too. Thank you. Some of them. I, I don't, it depends. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited about graduating because uh, they say it's a lot easier in high school and I'm just ready to get out of middle school. Well, not a lot, I don't think. I think we'll go and get our diplomas and leave. Yeah, I think all of them besides like Macy because... She, she's a failure. Yeah, I think we all did pretty good this year. And we tried really hard. I think we'll graduate and I'll move on to the ninth grade. Yeah, because I can't wait to get to high school and get to play high school basketball. Probably some people will kind of get upset about graduating and going into ninth grade. Hopefully. Except for Colton Logan. Probably some people will be upset about graduating, tears and stuff, looking through all the pictures and just miss middle school. Yeah, it's because I'm ready to step into another level of basketball and baseball. The only thing I ain't really excited about is the uh, work. There will probably be a lot of emotions showed by the parents. Just the thought of their kids growing up. Yes, yes. Uh, I think everybody's going to graduate but Logan. Yes, because I'll get to go to high school, but the only thing I don't really like is that the work's going to be harder, and I think baseball might be harder. <laughs> Parents are probably crying because they're, like, sad that their kids are growing up, and I want to talk to Kenny Nair. Yeah, I get to go to uh, my old school again and leave you here. People start crying while I'll start laughing. All but you laugh. And probably Colton. Yeah, I get to uh, go to high school and play football. Yeah, I'm ready to get out of the middle school. You get cramped up in there. I have a feeling like it's just going to be an emotional time for everyone because it's a new chapter in our lives. And uh, you may see people cry. Yeah, they should. They're all kind of smart, but uh, the rest of us are just lazy. <laughs> what teacher are you going to miss the most? I think I'm going to miss Miss Baker the most. Yeah. I really love her. I like Miss Baker because she's nice, she's funny, she lets us play the wall game to help us study. She's a great teacher and she knows a lot about U.S. history. She's really funny, she's nice, she's pretty, and she makes a lot of jokes and everything. And she's like one of the best middle school teachers. She doesn't just like go by the books, she explains stuff, tells good stories, and she's just a great teacher. Yeah, she's funny, nice, and she knows her history. She's funny, she's amazing. I love her so much. She's like my favorite person ever. Miss Baker's great. She's a sis. She knows her subject, she knows front and back. She's not, she didn't have to guess. If you need anything, all you gotta do is ask Miss Baker. I'm going to miss Mrs. Steele, too. Me, too. Let's take a look at a teacher feature on Mrs. Steele. Yeah, I've always known, like, since I was in junior high that I wanted to be a teacher, but I couldn't decide what kind of a teacher I wanted to be until about my second year in college, and I decided to be a health and PE teacher. It's a lot of fun. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do because I'm an ex hevner person, but it ended up being a lot better than Hefner was. Um... Probably teaching my PE class and coaching track because I went to school to be a health and phys ed teacher and it's a lot of fun going running and being outside. Oh man, there was a lot of classes I had to take. We had to take classes about how to teach and PE classes and fitness classes and um, I don't know, just the biggest ones were or learning how to teach students and their different learning styles.
Um, I did my internship at Hevener and at Poto, and it is different because now I'm teaching math and I'm not in the gym doing PE every day, but I like it a lot better here than I did at the other schools. Um, probably some of the teachers that I had in school at Hevener, they were really good teachers and they were more than just teachers. They um, really liked the kids and they liked what they were doing, so they made it more fun for everyone, including myself. So. I just wanted to be able to bring that back and not just make it a boring class and have fun in class. I wanted to teach math because it was really hard for me in school and I struggled a lot with math and I wanted to make it more fun and more exciting for the students so that it would be easier to understand. Um, if I had to do something else and I couldn't teach, I would probably, if I had the money, I would be a professional drag racer because that's my hobby is drag racing. And uh, it'd be awesome, but it's really, really expensive, so I don't see that happening anytime soon. <laughs> um, probably the first week of school on Friday, Pedro was in my class dancing around like a crazy person with a pencil in his hand. And he, like, shanked Logan in the hand, and he was bleeding everywhere, but, like, he was okay. It was just really, really funny. <laughs> um, they're doing really, really good, and keep up the hard work, because we've got some challenging stuff ahead. <laughs> yes, I'm very proud to be a Howline. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm kind of excited about high school. Are you? Yeah, I wonder how the freshmen liked it this year. I like the long lunch breaks and being able to hang out with friends. Miss all the teachers. They're real funny. Fun to hang out with. Mr. Williamson. He's pretty cool about everything. I like all the freedom that you get in between classes and in the classrooms, really. I miss the easy classes, the easygoing teachers. Well, my favorite teacher is Miss Boo because she's easygoing, she's a nice person. I'm really going to miss Miss Brown and all of her experiments. Which one was your favorite? Mine was the volcano experiment. Let's see what the uh, experiment was all about. Um, we have been learning about volcanoes in science and about plate tectonics and, and earthquakes and all of that. And so I came up with an idea on a project we could do, and it was over volcanoes. Um, I had the students pick a volcano, and it could be any volcano from around the world, and there were t lots and lots and lots of those. Um, they could be active or non-active volcano, it, it really didn't matter um, as long as it was a volcano. And the students had to do some research, they had to research the type of volcano, the last eruption, and they had to get a lot of background information about the volcano. Um, and what they did with that is they had to make a note card with this information on about their volcano on it. They took that note card and then they did a little bit more research um, and then what they had to do is they had to find a really good picture of their volcano, one that really showed a lot of the features of the volcano. And they took that picture and they constructed a model of their volcano. They're really, um, the only thing I didn't want them to use was food for to make their model, but I had one student that pretty much begged to use food and I allowed that because she really had a good idea. Um, so I told them they could use just about anything for their model. Um, it didn't matter how big, how small it was, as long as it replicated uh, their volcano. Um, had some wonderful volcanoes. Um, we took the picture, they emailed me the picture, uh, that maybe the information for their note card, and then they took that information and put it by their model. Um, and that way we could kind of at least see what their volcano was should have looked like. And then uh, they got bonus points, 10 extra bonus points if their volcano erupted. Now it's time for our calling question. What's the significance of leap year, leap day? Call the extension 419. Call. Oh. <laughs> um, so if you know the answer. I know the answer. Yeah, me too, now. Miss Brown told us this morning. I wasn't told her. She drilled it into us. Well, she said she told us last year. We just didn't remember. The... And we have a caller. What's your answer? I don't think that's an answer. <laughs> What's your answer, caller? 
No, sorry. What is it? Was sorry, all... wrong answer. No, but it wasn't. No, but it was something that was happening though, because of that day. And the men could not refuse. <laughs> That's kind of that kind of sucks. I know, right? I would be like, no. 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 <clears throat> the question is, what's the significance of leap year? Call extension 419 if you have the answer. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever floats your boat, I guess. <laughs> just, just give us the answer. Nobody knows. So I guess, well, Wait. maybe we do. Hello. What's your answer? What's your answer, please? So men, so women can, so women can ask men to marry them. No, I'm sorry, that's not the wrong, that's not the correct <laughs> answer. Miss <laughs> Parks, that is the I wrong think. answer, but not the right <laughs> answer. I don't think anybody was listening again. No, <laughs> it seems that, like we were the only two that actually heard her. Well, no, we're good students. Yes, All right. we are. Well, the answer is every year. There are 365 and a fourth days. So every four years, we the fourth adds up and it gives us another day. February is, 29th. Which is also today and is our first show. The only show that's ever been on Leap Day. Alright, that concludes our show. You are, are watching, watching CLE Live. Live.